Welcome to uh, this week's, uh, this month's newsletter. Today is June 28, 2020. Uh, a nice rally up from the lows. Uh, we are about the moving average at this point, which is this red line. And uh, we're also about the daily Kumo and about the daily tank and antikesian. So that is bullish. How about the candles is bullish. Uh, how we can also note, um, if we look at the weekly chart, Noted that the weekly keygen is flat, and uh, we know that the weekly flat keygens are very powerful, they bring values to themselves. So, just like back here, uh, we came back up again, came back up, and we're just wavering about the uh, uh, keygen. Um, we still have a couple of weeks, few weeks more to go before <coughs> we think uh, the keygen actually, weekly keygen actually uh, shows us some direction which is going to be down because the highs are going to drop. Till then, this is going to be a flat uh, attraction, which is going to attract uh, the, uh, the prices back to itself. So I would expect uh, consolidation here, a move back down towards these levels. Um, there's a good chance it could overshoot on the downside too, but uh, uh, at this point, you have a lot of support on the daily chart, especially with the 20 day moving average, the 50 day moving average. So if those supports hold, then uh, the Weekly tank and weekly region will also hold, and uh, we'll have to decide after that what to do. At this point, it is uh, even though the daily chart looks bullish, uh, you've got to uh, run away with the weekly chart too. So uh, I would hold off buying more positions at this point until we uh, get a clear direction. Uh, let's look at a few stocks here. Wipro. Let's look at the weekly chart here. Weekly, notice that the weekly is now bouncing against the 50 week moving average, which is very powerful uh, also. Uh, and notice that it is also against a flat keygen. So uh, at this point, I would, even though the big daily chart looks bullish, daily is bullish, I would still, uh, I would still be cautious in buying this. Have, uh, have the stops in place if you want to play this long. The stops close. Sale steel authorities looks like it's failing at the 200 day moving average. Uh, Chikao also in the Kumo, uh, so that's going to be a little consolidation here. Also looking at the weekly chart. Let's see. Now weekly in this case you do have room up to the weekly Kijin, which is about three. So you do have a little play there, but on the daily, uh, you, you need to cross about the 200 day moving average um, for uh, much more long at this point. Tata Steel, same scenario. Um, failing at the 200 day moving average, it is right now breaking out of the Kumo, uh, but the Chicago has not confirmed that yet. Uh, so I would hold off on buying uh, Tata Steel as well. On the weekly, not looking that good. Uh, Chicago is going to bump into these candles here, and you might have a consolidation. So I would not be buying walk hard at this point. Charge Industries, you could keep this one on the watch list. Also, um, doing a nice cup and handle. If they break break this out, uh, you could have a nice move up. But on the same situation here, also on the weekly. Uh, but notice that there's a big gap up to the Kijin. So you do have a lot of room to play up here till about 87. So having said that, um, notice that there's a gap resistance area around the 81, 81, 80 area. So be mindful of that, especially all the Kumo shadows as well. So, but I would definitely keep this one on the watch list for a cup and handle breakout about the Kumo. Britannia looks really good. Uh, Good bullish chart weekly as well as uh, daily. Uh, I would like to see a little bit more consolidation here and then the Chicago breakout, uh, but really good chart. Reliance Industries also had a nice Chicago breakout. Uh, hopefully, many guys took advantage of this one. Uh, continue to hold and use your uh, 
is an edge stop. DLF again getting hit with the 200-day moving average. Plus, notice a lot of Kumo shadows here too. It's going to have to fight its way going up. Uh, I will continue to watch this, but really not in the position to buy. DEML also continue to watch. Um, Chicago hasn't yet confirmed the breakout. Into the weekly, you do have room up to the weekly uh, season. So for aggressive traders, uh, there is scope on the weekly, but you need to have uh, the daily straight. Um, notice that there is a gap resistance area around 68, 680, uh, 689 or something here. So it's below 691. So there is a gap resistance right there. Uh, so you got to be mind, mindful of that as well as these. Over shadows. So that's what's going to happen. These stocks have been in downtrend for so long. Uh, you're going to have a lot of Fumo shadows they're going to have to contend with. So uh, keep that in mind as you play on the long side. But a nice uh, rounding bottom setting here, here too. So this could break out pretty fast if uh, the bulls come in. That'll be it.